players, they'll take like two people that are Exactly. Here we go. Toxic Critical versus Tag Your Pregnant coming in. Tag. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not humanly possible. <laughs> um, all right. So Princess already shut down by Miner. At least he got the zap off. He shut off the and goblins because the they could have did a we lot of damage. Bands, did we? No, we have not talked about the bands. This is the first match. Go ahead and shout him. We got the giant. We got the poison. Strong bands. That means Miner is going to be in play all series. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of Miner. We're going to probably see a little bit of Hog Rider as well. We might even see a little bit of Miner Hog. Wow. And you know what You, I, I don't think we talk about? I don't think we talk about in this series, but it's really important. Miner is one of those cards you can play at the last second. How towers work is they retarget the closest card. So they will always target the miner, even if they were targeting something else before. It's Ooh, really painful. Pick up. And Mini Pekka is going to shut down the princess. Doesn't nice. get the tower, though. But no, he, but great but value. He wanted great value. to shut down the princess. He wasn't really, I don't think he was caring about the tower damage. That's why he zapped the goblins to get it to the Mini Pekka to take out the princess. Because he dropped the miner on the tower. So. Yeah, exactly. And, and it was worth it. I, I mean, he's coming up ahead one elixir there. So They're going into this. pretty much running... Tag is going to go back to his pump. I don't think Toxic is playing a pump, otherwise we probably would have seen it. But he hasn't in played fact, two cards yet. That's exactly, I, that's the only thing I was going to talk about, is he, he's, he hasn't played his deck. Really sort of unfortunate in a minor yeah, but, deck, is it the Furnace, is it But that's know, also, that could also be really good for him too, because right now, okay, we see a zap coming. There's the zap, but so what's the last, last card? card? If Tag, Tag's not ready for it, and he doesn't think that, he already thinks he knows every card that's in the deck, you know, because sometimes you lose track. He might well, think that he knows all the all the eight cards, and then all of a sudden he throws like something big on him. Like maybe it's like maybe it's log like, bowler. Where maybe we'll see something crazy, or even even what uh, a prince, or you know, I mean something different that he wasn't. That really would expecting. be cool. I would love to see a prince. Actually, we saw a prince do really good work last series. Here we go, princess versus the ice wizard on that right hand side. He got the zap on everything. Great zap. Or it could be another lightning. It could be another lightning. <laughs> Uh, we, I would I would not put it past. I just feel like it's really weird. Ooh, in a, ooh, in a, maybe woo! if you could get the tower here, doesn't it? No, it's going to get no, shut, gets down, shut down. But it did take that Ice Spirit tag. You're pregnant. Just lost his advantage. That's unfortunate. It's it's one of those things where, you know, the, 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 the minor decks are very hog-esque in the fact that they, they are very low elixir. They cycle very fast. So not using one of your cards, if it's not a big hitter Ooh, card, nice you're not going to get the value out of that card all game. Mini Pekka is going to go down into Fire Spirits. Fire Spirits are Gary Count into Mini Pekka. Fire Spirit Zap, like I said last time, for hundreds of hogs. Well, I would say even Ice Spirit. If you play Ice Spirit in the middle, Mini Pekka is gone. You lure Ooh, all those, the way to get minions, hit by two those towers. Those goblins really are getting good. some chip damage on the tower. That's going to be great. They got a lot scary. of chip damage. Here we go. Miner just shut down the pump in the back. That way Toxic can stay in this game. Mini Pekka, Mini Pekka uh, Princess coming down the right-hand side. Princess is going to shut down the Fire Spirits. Thankfully, he had the Goblins the as well. Two princesses, Two princesses and an ice spirit. That's, that's gonna a lot stop. of damage. That's gonna be game. Yeah, that is gonna. That's a tower. You see, it's a zap it. That's game. No, there we go. Okay, yes. I was on. I thought now, the miner was gonna take. We it. Still Unfortunately, didn't see got that the last retarget. part of uh, toxic, right? Yeah, go find that out. Let's go find out what that was. Let's see what we got. We have the inferno. Also, I have a. Uh, he didn't play the inferno. Did he play the match? Okay, so we had. Fire Spirits? So Toxic had the Inferno. We had uh, Goblins, wow. Zap, Fire Spirits, uh, Mini Pekka, Ice, Wizard, Princess, uh, Miner, and Inferno. That was from Toxic. Hey, before we say something, what do you guys think the most used common? Oh, it's already up on the screen. Okay. So most used common is the Zap. I wanted people to guess it. That would be funny. People would have said, I'm pretty sure people would have said common for for the, the common would have been Zap. We got the Mini Pekka at 70%. The epic is the poison at 55. And the legendary is none other than the princess, which we definitely expect when Miner is banned most of the time. I, I almost would have felt like it would have been Ice Wizard, but I've noticed that people are getting a lot of good damage out of the princess, you know what especially it would be, though, if against it those the, infernos. Like you were saying, if the Miner wasn't banned all the time, it would have been the Miner for sure. Oh, definitely. One. Princess is great. Is one of the. It's not that it's like such an overpowered card, it's just that it's annoying to deal with. Exactly. And you know what? We also have a $10 iTunes gift card sponsored by your boys at Mob Crush. I think we're going to paste that in the chat right now so you guys can jump in there, get some free money. Oh, my God. You get free money just for watching. You think the, do you think that the, the zap needs to be uh, nerfed? nerfed? Yes. Do you think so? Do you think, uh, the, you think the, the stun should be nerfed on? Not the damage, but the stun? I almost feel like that's the appropriate nerf. They went from no stun to a one sec. It went from no stun to an extremely strong stun. If they just cut it back, 
it would be less used. I think the log would be more used, and log is supposed to be a legendary, right? Well, I felt like yeah. we should see that more often. We're into the next match here. I don't know how to say the bottom name. Uh, I'm not gonna... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got Clout versus Hammers. We'll just go Naruto versus Clout. Minion Horde. Ooh, that's the first Minion Horde we've seen all day. Yeah, in fact, no one's really playing it at all, even ladder or tournaments, because it gets shut down so hard by fire spirits, by ice spirits, like things no. that are prevalent now. So it's I'm, really I'm cool gonna, to see I'm that. I'm going to say this. I'm pretty sure I know what he's going to be running with this Lava Hound. Going to be running the minor Lava Hound push. The yeah. minor Lava Hound push. I would not put it past him. It's a strong push. I feel like the Lava Hound minions, they're going to get so much damage on that tower because uh, Clout already wasted go. their minion horde. Look so at those, look, look at, those at that. Get damage. Just, two, just like two or three Lava Pups on that tower got how, down how much? That's ridiculous. A thousand. A thousand damage. It's absolutely insane. Uh, it was unfortunate. Clout just, he should have kept that. I feel like if you're going to run Minion Horde, that's a trump card. Yeah, I don't know if I would have dropped it. Maybe that's all you had in his hand. He might not have the guards at the time, or he might not have anything else. Fair. So he had to drop the, he didn't, I think he should have. Did you see that? It was a zap there. He got the hog to tower. He got two, two chip damages. I believe he zapped to try to get the mini P.E.K.K.A. to retarget. Unfortunately, he did not retarget on those guards. And the push gets shuts down a lot faster than Still he would really like. Still really close. This game is really close. Princess going in for some chip damage. He doesn't even worry about the princess here. Interesting. A lot of people would turn to the... Oh, there arrows. it is. I felt like it was sort of a delayed... Who runs the arrows? Delayed. I know, ever since Zap is so strong, but he's running both. He's got the arrows, he's got the Zap. Unfortunately, he just used his arrows, Mini even though he knows he has... Oh! Mini Pekka does get it. The minion horde. It does get two hits on the tower, though. I mean, what is he bait What is, was he looking to bait out with that minion horde that he wasn't going to get with this Lava Hound? Here we go. Lava Hound makes it basically to tower... It looks like Clout has no real good air answer. And, and if he can't sort of shut down that Lava Hound, it's going to go into overtime. There. Thankfully, he's getting that hog damage push, that super strong push. Mini Pekka, oh my goodness. Mini Pekka on that left-hand side almost made it to tower. Yeah, but look at the tower for uh, Naruto. Four? Oh. Yeah, no, that tower is gone. It is, Naruto's really I wouldn't even counter to... that Mini Pekka. I would have left that Mini Pekka alone. Oh, he's tried to hide his Mini Pekka under those, those, the and Minion Horde. Unfortunately, coming. great counter. Princess Zap shuts that down real fast and guards to, to save the day. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you can't pull that off on me, bro. Yeah, he was not letting that, he was not letting that go anywhere. Go, I mean... And there's the tower on the left-hand side. Just... Naruto's in a tough spot here. He's got 15 seconds. I don't think that Mini Peck is going to make it. What he needed to do uh, was get that Lava Hound. As soon as he saw that Tower Go Hound, he needed that Lava Hound in the back. And uh, Lava Hound is sort of the same speed as Bolo. It takes around 30 seconds to get to Tower. I think... No, the Poison Fan, sorry. He, he needed, like, a freeze or something else besides arrows in that deck. Because yeah, that arrow was an unfortunate The arrows, choice. yes, it's going to take out the Princess, but the... But, a freeze would have worked so much better, or, or it's an yeah, or it's an even else. trade instead of getting the the elixir value, and I feel like that even trade almost turned into a negative for him. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I mean, the, the arrow is just not like really used. I mean, in low in like lower ladder play, or um, if you're like, I mean, in tournament play, it's not really used. But like, if you're in ladder and you're lower in ladder, yes, I would say arrows are pretty much used. Um, but it's just one of those cards that it's not as strong as the Zap. Zap is so strong right now that the arrows, it's not really up there. Um, ESL for the game clincher. I mean, there's some, hey. there's, some, there's some matches after this. It's just, if this match goes for the club, then it's not going to be... Well, then Hammers will be fighting for points. They'll be fighting yeah. to stay out of the cold to, to give themselves at least, you know, a fighting chance at the rest of the league. So they still they still need the wins. It's not like you just give up even if you you get three would in the beginning. You want those wins. You want those points. Points are extremely important in this league. Nice counter to that royal giant. We're really weird to see another royal giant here, especially when a royal giant minor deck. The minor really took out that furnace. Nice. Yeah, but the problem is the furnace is really going to counter that royal giant. Especially yeah, so he's already out. you know full frontage is already going to have a hard time. He wasn't able to even get. Or, you know, damage he, off on the tower. He kind of dropped the Royal Giant in a weird spot. In the back, yeah. And early on, maybe he's looking to cycle to his other cards. Maybe he's got Pump in there. I'm not sure. I, I really, like, I know they're not really looking forward to playing Pump with a, knowing people have Minor. But that's a great thing. Play Pump, you know, get the get the Ooh, lure or furnace. something and get your, like, get your game going. Ooh. Interesting. A Furnace Royal Giant deck. I've seen a lot of those. I've seen some of those in tournaments. Those so it's a very strong push deck, right? Furnace is going to shut down everything. And at least he can basically, when he has Fireball. the first going, he's got 
when he has Fireball. the first going, he's got two furnaces going now. This so. is the minions. Mm. He does hit the mini P.E.K.K.A. at least, and the the fire deck right furnace is gonna shut down everything and at least he can basically when he has fire the first he does hit the mini pekka at least and the the fire spirits are gonna shut it down no minions they were too far away and they make it to the furnace Didn't that furnace, furnace is gone and they get to the tower here Woo! Oh my God, he's the tower. there we go that's what i'm talking about minor hitting that tower tower retargets the closest troop and those minions got so much damage off because of it. Barbarians, interesting. This is a, uh, barbarians aren't usually run that much. Yeah, and in fact, he made them work. He got him to stop that that uh, that push. Unfortunately, guards are so good. Guards, well, ever since they changed the update on guards, it just made them so strong. Not getting the knockback from their shields getting taken off, it just made guards so much more value and um, actually made them usable. Exactly, the they were very they were very underplayed, not really usable. The the, the patches are were good. They were a good balance for guards for sure. There we go. He saw the he saw the furnace and like he got the same counter that full front has got the first time. So it's basically coming down to shut down the royal giant, get the poke damage, finish the game. But he's got to do it in 30. He's got he, and then yeah, and full French only has 30 seconds to put it away. So see, I don't know. The reason why full French is his deck, I feel like, is not being able to pull because that furnace is really stopping him putting his barbarian down, stopping him putting something in front of his royal giant to get a push. Down. Yeah, in fact, what he really needs to be doing is as soon as as soon as he sees that uh, that furnace, shut it down with the miner, get ready to set up with the royal giant barbs, knowing that a furnace isn't coming. Great damage, great damage by full frontage, but I feel like it's too late. That's the that's the kind of stuff that he needed to be doing all game. Uh, ESL really, yeah. Uh, lightning, lightning, wow! Lightning puts away the game, and Clout is three zero in this series. Oh my goodness, this is looking like it's. Oh man, yo! I just got confirmation. We got Nick Buck fourteen, winner of the iTunes card. Nick Buck fourteen, yo! Give me that hype. You just won ten dollars, man! Congratulations. If we can at him in the chat, that would be awesome. So he knows. So he knows. All right. So in the next matchup, I wonder who's going to be. We, we still have Backstab to go. We still have um, Chief hasn't gone yet, right? No, we have not seen Backstab or Chief. Those are the two next and players to go, we, I guess. Yeah, they're really strong players. Chief up in this house. <laughs> All right. So Chief Mexico starting it off front versus uh, Isopa. Interesting. Protect. So he goes straight for the hog miner push on the left hand side. Get some damage with this hog rider. Ooh, gets an extra hit. No. Yes, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He does get the extra hit, and that is a great way to start the game. Especially when you're side. not playing the pump or you don't have the pump. It was really smart of Isopa to play the pump, so he knew the mine already got used and he can safely play it. That's basically the only thing keeping him back in this keeping him in this game when he's down 900, 900 damage on left hand side tower. And the guard does up getting the tower. That's ridiculous how strong the guards are. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It is, especially at tournament level. There's something I don't see very much in ladder, even at the higher levels, but that's just because they're epics and they're really hard to get up at tournament level. They're so usable. Two pumps by Isopa is really going to put him ahead. There we go. Miner. Is the oh, Miner retarget? Some. No, nice. And I love the split push. Unfortunately, he did have the Inferno. The Ice Spirit does stop it a lot, uh, but he's not going to be able to get Hog the Tower. He's going to be able to take it out, though. It's not going to be really an issue at the moment. Yeah, but. if Chief Mystical can keep cycling faster than Isopa, he's gonna take that tower. The thing is, Isopa's trying to get ahead with pumps. Unfortunately, he didn't retarget that miner. We need back a miner push. With the princess behind that guards, he's probably gonna go down here. If he gets a zap on him, that's basically gonna get the mini pack in the tower. Doesn't he get the zap. Chooses not to play the zap. I, that's unfortunate. I feel like he should have zapped everything and tried to get at least that push to count. Maybe even shut down this mini pack up before oh. he got to his princess. Very late zap there. At least he's gonna get decent poke damage off. Miner on the princess at bridge. Very interesting. Oh, nice. Hog to push it. Fire, uh, Ice Spirit coming in. Gonna freeze everything. Hog is gonna get the tower Woo! untouched. This is probably gonna be a tower here. Four? Oh, that is a tower. That is gone. No! Oh, mini Pekka at the last two. second. Last second Mini Pekka. That minion Hog horde. needed one more hit, but shut down another Minion Horde. Nice. It's interesting to see that, and he at least kept it. At least uh, Chief Mystical, he kept the Minion Horde. To the end, I and he's trying to get the push off of zapped, it. You should have just zapped the princess there and got the tower real quick. It might have been worth it, but a seven, a seven for for tower. I don't know. He, I feel like he feels he already has the tower, and now he can go for the right hand side. He's dropping minions to take out of a, a miner. It's not, not ideal, especially no. because it's going to get hits off the pump. 
He's making him do what I do. When I do the ladder, I make you work, work really hard for that tower. Oh, you can tell. You can tell he's is struggling. He he's feeling he's feeling the pain of not being able to to really pull that miner away. And it's extremely unfortunate. It's looking what was looking like such a great game for him is looking like a turnaround for Chief Mystical. And there goes the tower on that left side. But it's not side. over till it's over. We got that tower down to 10:50. With 15 so. seconds left. He he's really just, needs, he's just deploying stuff on that side. He really needs like a minor minion push a long time ago. I don't think he has what he does needs to push that tower, and that's gonna be game. Yeah. Well played, Chief Mystical. Hammers stopping the shutout. You gotta know that Chief Mystical had pressure, right? Oh yeah. Oh man, can you feel the heat? But there? he got those points for his team, so that's good. He picked up the two. Hammer time in the chat. Yes, give me the hammer time in the chat. Shout out. Shout it out. That was really good. Really great gameplay by both players. Really I uh, not, really not a known player too, Chief Mystical. So he's not like we were saying. In for here. Here we go. Next match going in. Backstab versus. Every time they say good luck, I can't read the name. I know, Audos. <laughs> I'm always afraid of that last second sub. Here we go. Hey. Boop, boop. We got the uh, <laughs> first hut. Hut. Yeah, the first. The first. Uh, Coming no, actually, wow. this is the second. The second hunt. One well, of one of the uh Well, I mean they had uh Oh this yes, this week. First hunt this week. Yeah, this is the first Will he be week. playing a hunt well, deck or is it if, counter? If you count the furnace as a as a as a as a hut. Furnace is a hut. It does spawn trees. I mean that's true. It's true. I look at furnace as more of not really a hut though. I look at it like, like I never thought building. about I that. Think furnace, furnace is a defensive building. Yeah, I've never thought of furnace as a hut, but it is. It, 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 it every sense of the word furnace is a hut. Uh, it's just not literally a hut like Goblin Hut or barbarian you know hut. Barbarian Hut. But every sense of the word, the card behaves the same. Nice, there we go. Guards shut down do that, that, that miner. Woo! That's gonna be big. And yeah, that's a well great point. Let's go. Princess on the middle is gonna really make sure nothing comes through. It's unfortunate. Aw didn't really get uh, I'm telling you, uh, value out of his hut. I would have bet that Max is running a lot of. Oh, I could see it. I could see it. He's running. He's pumping up to really go for that lava hound. Why is Why is Odyssey not pumping up? That's That's the question. Why did he choose not to run the pump here? The goblin hut just got destroyed by those minions. Yeah, they're doing it so much work. Backstab is so good at really getting low troops to just not where you want them to be and putting away that poke damage. Another, another pump already down. Is he trying to this oh well? man, I'm expecting something big. If he's pumping up that much, you well know Well played on the guards something. again. And he gets it every time. He predicts that miner every time. That's not something that's easy the, to you do. You notice where he dropped the guards. He dropped them right in the front in the middle. So if you drop miner on either side, the guards going to He was going to get, get, yeah, he was going to target him. It's really good play. And it, it feels like uh, it feels like he he's getting the value out of his miner too because he's shutting down all the buildings. Wow, we're, the we're seeing tower, another though. lumberjack here, and lumberjack's even gonna make it. Is it a royal giant? Do we have the royal giant to put away work? Doesn't look like it, but he will get some poke damage off of that goblin hut. Gets the mini packing down. Didn't have the wow. Did not have the guard. Still predicts the miner. Backstab is a hundred percent miner prediction rate so far. That's absolutely insane. And look at the damage he's gotten on the tower without even dropping his last card. No, he hasn't even played a big hitter. He's literally just pumping up and getting poked Three pumps small on the troops. ground, man. Oh my goodness. And shuts down the lumberjack. lumberjack. Wow. No, he doesn't have an answer for the miner this time if he drops a miner because he already dropped the guards and the mini pack up. But he drops the princess. But it doesn't seem to matter. He just keeps getting that slow chip damage. He shuts down everything Odyssey has and he keeps Four getting chip damage. Four pumps at one time. Woo! Four pumps in the field. Now down to three, but it was four pumps for a split second. Yeah, you know, he had the four pumps up, guys, in a really competitive match that's not easy to do. That means his countering is off the charts. He really stopped, look at, look really at the stopping Odyssey. He's well, he's got all those pumps. Now he's now he's in overtime. It's time to take advantage of him. Start playing that. Get the poke damage. It's literally going to come down to him getting the poke damage. I think now it might be lightning. Again. Can you imagine if that last card is lightning and he's just looking to put but this, the but this counter push, though, is really brutal. With all these uh, these huts down, all this sparkles. yeah. Unfortunately, now he's forced to play the same side of the huts, which is what you never want to do. But all he's got to do oh the skeletons! Ooh, oh my look goodness! Look at those skeletons! Oh my god! And the skeletons put it away! Wow! Whoa! Wow! The turn he, of events happened there. Even though he got the okay, so wow! Even though he had that crazy elixir advantage. Oops. Even That's insane. No, Backstab it. looked like he had that game under control. He had all the elixir, and he got stuck into fighting the same side as Huts and freaking Odyssey with the turnaround.
That was crazy. That's a deck too that you never My seen. My God. Look at, the, look at that spawner deck. He had Goblin Hut, Barbarian Hut, Tombstone, Log, Lumberjack. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I've seen huts destroy. I was. I, no, but I mean, like, he's running five legendaries and three huts. Five legendaries and three huts too strong. That was absolutely crazy, okay. man. Yeah. And now we're going. Oh, man. We're, we got Crucible Wrath versus Elite Gaming coming up. Crucible Wrath was undefeated until last week. And arguably, that was like one of the closest matches we've had all season. Crucible Wrath versus Nova. Anonymous came back at the very end and won it. Um, due to a really strong misplay by Crucible Wrath, so you know they're kind of pained by that. You know they wanted to be, uh, you know they wanted to be undefeated going into this. But they're Crucible. You can't count them out. They're really strong players. Connor's done work every week. Ryu's and Alvi, they've all done work every week. Even all of them. Retaliation. Wow. And uh, uh, Elite Gaming sort of had some problems with their clan, so they've got a really sort of new lineup yeah, like coming up this week. Here. Trainer Nick, Smalls. The only Marcus people we've 30. seen is Marcus and Trainer Nick. We got Smalls, Glenn, and Ken. Um, and so we really don't know. We don't know exactly. We don't know, exactly. Seen, we we don't know how strong this play. is going to be. We know of them. We haven't. We don't really know their like what, what what they're strong with. You know, exactly. We don't know what their comforts are, which I think might make the bands kind of hard for Crucible Wrath. But you know, Crucible Wrath is one of those clans that they don't really care. You know, they're like, oh, we're gonna play the off meta decks. We're just gonna ban what the strong cards are because we don't use them anyways. And we're gonna play, you know, Crystal Wrath is one of those plans. They just play their game, man. Yeah. They just play their game all day, every day, and it really works for them. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. I really want to see the, the the again, again. Look at the the average chubbies. Yeah, we've we've seen that. We've been seeing that, especially because the season just reset. We're seeing huge gaps in the clans, even though seeding like seeding wise, they're around the same skill levels, or at least league wise. Like what we've seen this league, all these matchups this week are really around the same level that they've performed they're playing those clans but the trophy gaps have been absolutely huge even though oh, you know yeah. their tournament plays have been about the same so that's just to show you that i mean like trophy trophy pushing is completely different than tournament exactly when we say that all league and that's well that's one of the things that makes the league so interesting because you get to see like these crazy players play these weird decks that you don't see on ladder and the matches are so close and i just absolutely love it and so and, i'm, I'm and really excited for this like, first I matchup feel like, i feel like every time supercell um nerfs or buffs a certain card, right? It doesn't... It affects the ladder completely different than it affects the tournament play. <laughs> it's true, really. And you, it's very... It's very... So it's I, not very often that you can find a deck that is both ladder strong and tournament strong. Like, the exact same deck. It's really hard to do that because it's just not the same. It's just not the same.